Uh, yeah, there we go. Welcome back. And that is all about the sugar consumption. <laughs> um, of course, sugar consumption, as it said in the uh, article, in the U.S. is quite high. Mm -hmm. Average at 80 uh, per day, which I think I've gotten to sometimes. Mm -hmm. I try to reduce, but I've, I've been there a few times. When the recommended is 30. Now, I believe a can of soda is 35. Yes. Something like that. So you're basically ruining your whole day's intake of sugar with just a normal 12 ounce uh, can of um, soda, which I have no clue on the milliliters of what 12 ounce is. Uh, is it three, you, 330? Oh, that, that sounds the right. Is that the can or 310? the 310? Something it's like something that. It's something like that. 280? Mm -hmm. That's what Google's for, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so basically what happened is these artificial sweeteners were, um, some of them were accidentally discovered, some of them were purposely discovered, but they were all for the same purpose, to get away from sugar, which was considered very unhealthy. However, now they're not so sure if artificial sweeteners are even that much better. They don't seem, according to what scientists are saying these days, they don't seem to help you lose weight they don't seem to help diabetes as much. It even seems to give you an insulin response just like sugar does. And so they're wondering, are these things actually worth it or even good? Mm -hmm. um, basically the balls are in the air and we have no clue uh, if it's good or not, but what we should do for everything in our life, carbohydrates, sugars, salts, is a balanced diet. Mm -hmm. um, sugar is also put in everything in the article they even said savory foods mm -hmm. will have sugar put inside of it, probably to up the addiction factor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many sweet things do you consume in a day? I think when it comes to that, I don't mm -hmm. really have that much of a sweet tooth. I would oh. always gravitate towards things like cheese. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest weakness. Um, or yeah, savory snacks mm -hmm. rather than um, sugary ones. So I think... Twiggies, right? Oh, twiglets. Twiglets. Yes. Oh. I'm pretty sure there is definitely no added sugar in a twiglet. Um, uh, so if I'm worried, I worry more about my salt intake rather than my sugar intake. Although I do eat things like br bread, probably some bread every day or some kind of crackers or eat pasta, which actually, when broken down in the body, becomes sugar. So uh, I eat probably a lot of sugar without eating that many sweet things. Mm. I think. Do you think it's too much? Your sugar intake, even though you're not eating sweet things? Uh, I really have no idea, yeah. to be honest. I don't know. I don't count calories. Yeah. I don't. I try mm -hmm. and keep it balanced with some meat, some mm -hmm. vegetables, some dairy, some mm -hmm. grains every day and hope for the best. That's mm -hmm. my diet. <laughs> now, let's sort of talk about something controversial, mm -hmm. um, especially in Korea, as people who come into Korea uh, from mostly Western countries. But I'll ask this in a more general way for now. Mm -hmm. We talked about adding sugar to savory foods. Do you think this improves the flavor? In most cases, no. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but in Europe, particularly in Britain, we do have this real hard line with the sweet foods mm -hmm. and the savory foods. So mm -hmm. I'm not used to eating sweetened bread. Uh, remember, bread is not cake. Uh, I know that's confusing. Um, I, but, and I, so I can really taste it, and I think a lot of Europeans can, that yeah. you can tell, oh, these things I'm used to, crisps, uh, uh, yes. what do we call it, chips, yes. uh, Americans say, uh, mm -hmm. taste very sweet to me. It's so, yeah. Uh, so yes, I notice it, and I don't like it. And that's, that's a good way to put it. In America, you have sweet and you have salty. Now you can take these two individual items that are either sweet and salty and put them together, chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. um, pineapple on pizza, but you can never put sugar into a savory thing. Mm. It's just not right. And that's why I hated, and a lot of people hated, a pizza near where I lived, um, where they put sugar in the crust. Oh, no, and it was, sweet. Oh, just vomit every day. Mm. But it reminds me of um, garlic bread. Please stop putting sugar on garlic stop. bread. Please, 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 please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, or at least have two options. You'll have Western garlic bread and garlic bread. Mm -hmm. I, I would be completely fine with that. Mm -hmm. It's just quite a shock when you come and you're like, I am craving some nice savory garlic bread. You take that bite and it's sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, just, just try it. Paris baguette, please, we're begging you. Yeah. Introduce it, just a trial run. <laughs> 
I bet people will yeah. love it. I'll buy it by the bulk. Yes. I'll just be like, I don't care. I'll freeze this and <laughs> <laughs> warm it up over the years. Uh, yeah. I haven't had a good garlic bread in years. Maybe that should be our next business venture. We should start a Western-style garlic bread store or yep. stand or kiosk. Right or in HBC. Yeah. Everyone will come. We'd make a meat. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. Although it is mildly enraging to have sugar in some things that we are not expecting, it is a different taste and different culture. And I've tried, I really have tried, and most things I can get down, mm -hmm. even crisps that are on the sweet side, but garlic bread, no, oh. never. Yeah. We're trying our best to integrate, but you've got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Well, um, even though it's easier said than done, let's go ahead and try to memorize and use that vocabulary down below and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Savory. Savory. Sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Gut microbiome. Gut microbiome. Enraging. Enraging. <laughs>